Haley. I came here before. Maybe you remember me? I really want to go up there. Oh. You guys. Yeah. It's open. Like we can climb into the zoo. Hi my angels, it's Ailey Reese, and for those of you who have been on my channel for quite some time now, well obviously you know from the title, but you might recognize what is directly behind me because one of my favorite paranormal investigations, I say a lot of them are my favorite though, so it depends on the day, <laughs> um, but one of my favorite paranormal investigations was here at the old LA Zoo. I came here with my friends I think a year ago now, around that time period, and we had some pretty insane experiences here. What even is this? Really? Did you hear that? I love that. You guys heard that, right? You guys heard that, right? So if this was the latch, the legs were like this. Yes, that's I saw this part of the Me leg. too. But you guys that's, couldn't see shoes because I just I'm, saw shoes. I didn't see shoes. I didn't see shoes. Oh my god. I, I didn't see shoes no, either. I literally saw just, just the legs. This. But we did not have a spirit box and we did not have anything other than an app on us to investigate. So, it has been like a dream of mine and so many of you guys for so long for me to come back here, bring an actual spirit box and see if something wants to communicate. So that is exactly what we are doing here today. It's currently pretty light out. It's like around evening time, but it's still bright out. So the lighting will be good. You guys will be able to pick up on things. And we are just going to investigate and see what in the heck is really here. So I am with Mama Reese and Sarah. And I knew I had to bring them along, show them the place, and investigate. So that is exactly what we're going to do for today's video. Let's do this. Old LA Zoo round two. So we've just made our way to the area where I was sitting before and I sensed something behind me, something dark. And this specific park, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Griffith Park within itself is notably haunted. It's actually believed that there's a curse on the land of Griffith Park. And this specific area that we're in right now is the old LA Zoo. Now the old LA Zoo is exactly that. It's an old LA Zoo where it is believed that a lot of torture took place towards animals and just a lot of mistreatment here here in general so there's a real sense of dark energy here and overall hauntings people claim to hear animals that aren't really here and there's just a ton of experiences that take place in this specific spot the old zoo pet psychic writes that when she and her film crew visited the old zoo grounds in July 2010 she buckled over in nausea she envisioned malnourished big game cats resorting to cannibalism among other suffering animals. Even the skeptics bowed their heads. The suffering seems to stick to our breath. The beasts of Griffith Park, whether it's a werewolf or a, a werewolf, whether it's a werewolf or a demon or a drug-induced hallucination, many people believe there was a creature within this part of Griffith Park that's existed over the past decades. In October 2005, Three men retreated from a late night excursion into the park. Encounter a beast that had green skin and red hair. They said that they visited the men and after their experience to prove they weren't making the story up, people had the men draw what they saw separately. With minor variations, their sketches matched what they described. Its legs were very long, its feet, and it was taking huge strides as it made its way down the street. Its back was bent and its neck was very long. More recently, an 11 year old boy named Jack rode on the site that in 2009 he was chased by an unusually large coyote. Reaching the top of the hill, he saw another kid around his age and warned him about the coyote. I'm quite glad you warned me, the kid told Jack. Then he handed him an old firecracker. 
Take this. It's good luck. I just saw a white flashing light. You remember that? Okay, and a coyote, the animal we heard. That was so fucking. The kid then ran through some bushes on a small path, fearing the coyote Jack tried to follow him but never caught up and never saw the kid or the coyote again. There was some sort of something. So I thought this would be a really great spot to start up a spirit box session and see if that is true. So we're gonna set up and that is exactly what we're about to dive into. Are there any spirits here that would like to make their presence known? I came here in the past and I felt as though there was something back here. Can you validate that for me? What's your name? What is it that keeps you here? Can you tell me? Are you attached to the zoo or a Griffith Park as a whole? another section of the zoo. There are so many different things in here. What I'm not seeing this time is a smiley face. And then this over here is kind of just, oh. Open. What? This was never open before. Really? 
Like we can climb into the zoo. For real? For real. You think there's anybody up there though? That's what I'm worried about. Hello? Anybody up there? Maybe we just go like a little bit. You guys, this video just took the craziest turn. Last time I was here with Lily and Andrew, there was no entrance into the actual zoo cages. And I came in to show you guys the last section of the zoo and it's open, like completely open all the way up. But here's the deal. I'm not scared of no ghost. I'm a little scared of murderers. And who knows if there's someone up there. This just seems like for somebody as clumsy as me, a very, very steep fall if I'm trying to run. But we're gonna have like a little like group discussion and make a choice, so I just wanna know who took it off. Why is it suddenly open? My camera's about to die. Are you freaking kidding me? see if anyone's around that corner. This thing kind of looks like a creepy head to me. And then when you walk up here, you are literally inside. It's really hard to breathe once you get up to this bar, and it's not even that hot, so you're just... And it's ventilated too, yeah, like the bars. It's not stuffy, it's just... <sighs> I feel like I can't breathe.